great way to start that whole thing off. Um, and if you want to drop some dosh and actually uh, compete, we got multiple different games. But what you're going to have to do is go over to the Facebook, uh, either uh, the GTR Facebook, which isn't on the side, isn't on the side, the side there. Um, or you can head over to the Ottawa FGC Facebook. Either one of them will get you to the other one. A lot of cross pollination that goes on there. And yeah, I'm sure if you uh, if you ask about it, someone will be able to hook you up with that. But we're going into our game. Seeing why going back to Nakali, other than uh, other than Urian up against uh, tried and true Cami. I wonder if I like Urian better in this matchup. Maybe he doesn't have a DP, uh, so I can understand mm, that. I don't know. It. I think this is very... I think whenever you want to hit Kami, you want to be explosive. And I think maybe Nikali has a bit more explosiveness. But his defensive options are also a lot better than Urian's. Yeah. So, that's fair enough. Are, we, are the names backwards? Yes, the names are backwards. Okay. Sorry. I actually, they were right, and then I flipped them. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Do I get out of the corner, but the pressure is continuing going on. Trying to actually, uh... I'm surprised there was no whip punish in the beast though, but... Yeah. Here we are. There, there we nice. go. That's, that's, why, that first that's why you're playing the calling. <laughs> yeah, no, that's exactly it. You gotta be, you gotta be on top of that. Especially in this matchup, where the aerial options from Cami are gonna be the, uh... The bread and butter for offense. But I, I feel like he's really wanting to try and, like, set up his, uh... His sort of charge pressure. And there we go. Neon green. If you get the colors there. But uh, didn't get the chance to really get too much out of the uh, the beach trigger explosion that was going on there. No, it's unfortunate. Yeah, I feel like I understand why he's like backing up like this and whatnot because you don't want to block him. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's, that's, all, that's also the idea. But then it's also like it feels like a lot of your charge moves are just like you're not going to use them this match, like this matchup. Because if, if you're going to be able to, like, sit that far back, like, the only time you're ever going to be using them is during combos, I think. Like, because rushing in on Kami is a difficult thing to do. Because if you if you whiff one of those, that's that's a problem. Um, so there we go. We're seeing Gwai being very patient. Throws in the drop kick. There we go. A reversal. Ah, uh, there we go. Dropping the super. And Gwai's got all meter, all V trigger too. He's just looking for a safe opportunity to like actually pop that. There we go. He has it, but then the uh, goal kick from the top coming in takes out really the air. Really surprised the grab. That was very oh, good. Oh, he's got to do something, uh, something right now. And he has everything going on, but no, nope. just catches him. Right, dashes are very risky. I mean, they're very difficult to see in this game. But yeah, they're super risky because they can just poke. I think what he just needs to do is kind of do the. Uh, I don't know. Does he want to jump in? No. No. <laughs> he it. No, it's I just like, an I, air invincible DP. Yeah, I, 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 I know that. I'm just kind of like throwing out theory. He needs to he, he needs to space his buttons better. That's all. Yeah. It's a I, I hit my buttons in the wrong space and then they counter poke my buttons and I died. Like uh, he, like but the last one where you died from where you died from dashing in. Yeah. It wasn't like the dash was a bad idea because if because if it didn't put out the punch. Because like what's what's his other option? His option is to dash. Or his option is to crouching medium kick, right? So if he we see him the switch, maybe. But look, no, we are. So here's the thing. So his options were to dash or right. to crouching medium kick. If, if Cami does crouching medium punch to swoop out the dash and he dashes, he gets hit. But if he right. does crouching medium kick and then Cami does crouching medium punch, he beats her and then he combos. So this is like a 50-50. And you have a lot of those in this game where your dash like is unreactable. Change. I like this change a lot. Over to the. Uh, I do like the character. I just think it's I think it's like it's it's a better character because you're not like motion locked essentially. Right, but I think backing up the turn is not what you want to do. Mm, no, but I think it's the idea that if you can get that one whiff, but Welcome to Street Fighter 5. You uh surprise attack, that was very good. Yeah, no that was that was exactly it. That was that was fully optional stuff. I'm actually coming back a little bit. I might have not spent the meter oh, yeah. there. Like just save it for the next round. Yeah. You're, you're, you're still meter starved. Yeah, no, it, it's a rough scenario when you get pushed back by, especially uh, an offensive character such as Tammy. He has to stop the dashes, right? So he has to put out some kind of button. That's like the real mix-up. Is if, yeah. you, if she dashes and you put out a button, you hit her. But if you put out a button and she hits you, your button, then you get hit. So put out some standing medium kicks, put out some crashing medium punch. But you can't just let him keep dashing at him. You have to be answering. Yeah, I think 
There was a lot of uh, things that shouldn't have been. And situations that happen shouldn't have happened. Yeah. Like, no one should be getting hit by dive kicks that much. So, the thing is, her regular dive kick has to be spaced properly, but when you do it off of her, um, 